Today I'm going to show you where I get my daily coding resources based on CSS components and also all the tools that I use to make my programming day productive. My name is Ekla Khalid and I have uh, three years experience in creating both dynamic and static websites. So we are going to start with my website. It's simply just about me and the projects that I've done. So if you want any projects, either the ones I've done here on YouTube or any other projects that I've done on my own, you can come to this website and then you can hit the project section and then you will have access to these codes, to these projects where you can view the code, you can view its functionality and all that. And also you can also explore the videos I've uploaded on YouTube. So the first thing I use on a daily basis is my GitHub. My GitHub is currently at 71 repository, repositories and you can see I have these contributions in the last year. Currently I'm at 15 followers so you can follow me and I'll appreciate that. So I normally push my codes here and let's say I want to create a new website either for a client or for just a personal project and I've had multiple codes let's say like payment options and all that i normally push my codes here so that i can reuse them anytime i want to create a new project and then another tool i've found out recently is this realm is an ai which helps you to s create sites and web flows over website from just an, a an ai prompt i've used it for i've used it only once because they have a free trial for only one project but it's a good thing it creates for you figma web flows for your website and then to the css components i started using sailboat ui and this one simply has tailwind css components from buttons avatars all those things that you could use in your website and this one is one of those where you just look for something you want let's say a button and then you'll come and select the type of button you want let's say you want this button you'll just hit the code and then you look for that button in this code you can see for this one the button is number five so we'll just come and copy this code for that specific button you can use it also for all these components you have tabs you have tables and you have also the select text area so this one saves you a lot of time when it comes to writing css the other one is hyper ui after using sailboat i discovered hyper ui this one is more of sailboat ui but one thing that makes it a little bit more special is that it has some section codes you see like let's say you want a section about let's say let's look for one let's say you want a pricing section you can see you have this so you'll just come and view the code here and then you'll change it if you're using html gsx or view you'll just hit and select the code that you want so for me i normally use gsx so you'll just copy this code and then you're going to style it to fit your features or what you want so this one normally has it has the components let's say alerts and everything but it also has the components let's say these blog cards and then sections i guess testimonials it has all that so you can use this one when you want to just create landing pages and you can look for components here the other one is shard cn i've come to use this in all my projects because i code in next.js and unlike hyper ui and sailboat ui this one you can actually install it in your terminal if you come to the installation you can see you can install it for all these frameworks and for me i normally use next.js so what you you just do is install it when you are creating your project and then you're you are, you are and then you're asked all these questions and then once you're done and you want to add a button will just come let's say you want this button you'll just come in copy this and then paste it in your terminal and it's going to paste to create a code for the button in the components UI. And what makes this one simple is that, let's say you want to use this button. You'll just come to the code section. You'll just come to your code and then you're just going to import the button. And 
that's it it's not like you're going to copy the codes over and over again let's say you want a different button let's say you can see this one is secondary you can see this one is destructive and all that so the only thing you do let's say you want to look at the destructive you just import the same button but you you add variants when you install them the components you can actually change their codes and it makes them reusable in many ways you can see that it has all the components you would want to use on your project the other one i use is flow flow bite and for this one it's sim it's similar to sailboat ui and hyper ui because you can you can install it directly or you can just scroll down and look for the component you want and you can select from multiple components you copy the code paste it on your code editor and then you'll have those components ready to use you can see it has carousels it has all those things that i think you can use when creating your projects so the ne the next one i use for icons is lucid react and for this one we have like let's say react icons and all that but for me i use this lucid react icons you can see that it has a lot of icons let's say i want to look for a male icon i'll just search for male and then you can see here it is i'll see it in action and then what i'm going to just do is copy this and then copy the import but when you are using shad cn it comes installed with lucid react so let's say you have installed shad cn to your project you won't have to install lucid react you'll just have to just import the components directly and then that's it for the components the other tool i use is v0 v0 is an ai of vassel an ai from vassel which helps you create components like let's say pages just from a text prompt and it has like free credits which you can use to test it out if i come to my page and then look for the ones I've generated, you'll notice that I came here and gave it a hospital management website user interface and it went ahead and generated the UI and you can see here it is, it gave me this, we have a logo here and then some information and then it gives you three options where you can choose from. Let's say you want to use this one and you want to keep on improving this one so you're just going to use this text prompt here and then once you are okay with everything that you have it has generated you can come and click the code of which you can copy the code and also you can edit the code from here and then copy it directly to your vs code and then you have a production ready web page and then related to v0 i use vasl for deployment so you can see i use vassal to deploy all my projects those that i'm doing just for let's say learning purposes or just youtube purposes i use vassal to deploy if i click here you'll see that i've deployed many many applications using vassal it's very easy to deploy your application so i think that is going to help you when deploying your website if you haven't yet found out about vassal and then the other one is render when i want to deploy api based application let's say man applications the ones that you have a front end and then a next a uh, node.js server i use render to deploy the the api so i use render if i open one here you can see that once you have deployed and it's successful it gives you a a link which you go and connect with your node.js application normally you use local host 8 8000 or 8800 you replace that with this link that render has given you and then i use mongodb as my database most of my projects if my project needs a database and i'm testing it out i normally use mongo database and let's say i want to create an application that needs people to upload pictures images and all that i use cloudinary cloudinary helps you to deploy your to send your images 
and all that so when people you're creating an application that requires people to add profile pictures and all that i normally use this cloudinary to receive those images and then and then i use next.js for most of my projects and if i don't want to use if I want to create a project and I don't want to use Next.js and I want to just use a React, I don't use the Create React option, but instead I use Vit because I find Vit a little bit faster when you're creating heavy application applications to load and stuff. But compared to Next.js, Next.js is a little bit faster. So those are the things I use on a daily basis when I'm creating my web projects and i hope they helped you and you're going to consider using some of them when creating your projects you can look them out i'm going to paste the uh, links in the description and also something i've forgotten i use chat gpt when debugging all my codes if i have any error i come directly to chat gpt to help me solve the error but if you want something that is going to help you to help you in your VS Code when creating websites, Google has Google Console has a free AI similar to Copilot. And if I open my VS Code, you're going to see I have this Duet AI here. So you don't you don't have to use Copilot and all that. We have Duet AI from Google Console. If I click it, it's going to ask you to sign into your google cloud so to use duet ai you're just going to have a google console account and then connect it with your vs code and then you have a free ai to help you when writing your codes so those are the things i use on a daily basis and i hope they help you in one way or another and make sure you subscribe leave a like and i'm going to see you in the next video